Why is it some really smart people do really stupid things? Why is it? Is it and if success was all based on my IQ score, or the success of others were based on their high IQ scores, why is it we find people with really perhaps median, average IQ, IQs being very successful? And why is it sometimes we find people with very high IQs stumbling through life? more to this conversation than just IQ. There's more to your success than just IQ, and I'm delighted that you decided to be here uh, this morning and learn a little bit about the six second advantage. So I'm gonna give you some strategies around how to develop your EQ and enhance your EQ so that when you are here today, when you are out in the world, when you're back on campus, you can be much more successful and not have to rely on just your IQ. How many of you are studying business? You're a business major. Okay. I started off like you. Notice past tense. I could not pass cost accounting. Right? So you're like, uh huh. Yeah, I could not get past cost accounting. And I remember that semester in college getting a 1 9. Yeah, that's not pretty high IQ, right? That's not pretty prestigious. That almost made me lose my RA job. Because at least you needed a 2 -oh. And I thought you'd have to be an idiot not to get a 2 -oh until I pulled a 1-9. And then I thought there was more to this question and more to this understanding of what allows people to be successful in life. Because at that time when I got the 1-9, couldn't pass cost accounting, my advisor said to me, Jeff, you're going to have to choose again. So I couldn't be a business major. Now I've had my own business for eight years, and I would love to sit cross knee to knee from that person and say thank you for allowing me not to be the business major. At the end of the session today, I want to leave you with a better understanding of what emotional intelligence is. How many of you with a show of hands, how many of you have read, heard, or gone to a workshop around emotional intelligence? What do you know to be true already about EQ? It can be improved. Do you know like how your IQ can be improved? It takes a lot of work. And unfortunately, by about age 17, we are maxed out in what our IQ will be. And EQ can be developed and enhanced with time and attention. I'm gonna give you the four kinds of career derailers or success factors of what will allow you to be more successful in your own personal life as well as your business life beyond here. The four kinds of scales and competencies. Um, what else do you know about EQ? There was another hand over here. Yeah, what's your first name? Joe. Joe? It's hard to measure. It's, why is it hard to measure? How many of you are also kind of experiential learners? You've kind of learned by doing something. Yeah, I'm that way. I'm that way. So what I want to do is I'm going to pass out some sheets here. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to read this. And we are going to kind of um, manufacture or come across a little bit of an experiment. Canyon, you're going to make this easy for them. You're also going to get up and you're going to find them. I'm going to give you five minutes to introduce yourselves and come to some resolve. Ready? Set? Go. Time to get started. It's important to communicate. Yes. It's not a zero sum game. Just because I have to win doesn't mean you have to lose. I have a lot of wins. And imagine, imagine when you go into relationships, you go into projects, you go into tasks where that's your belief or your come from, your stance, how you show up. I appreciate it. Again, my name is Jeff Stafford. I'm doing a couple more sessions. I'll see you.